Hey everybody. Have a look at this right here. Has this happened to you before? After you install Windows XP? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix this little issue. For some reason or another, um, I'm not sure what I can call it, an error or what happens, but sometimes Windows XP, when it writes the boot file during installation, it'll write itself two times. It's going to act like um, you're on a multi-boot setup, and it's going to prompt you with which one do you, do, do you want to start. Now, both of these will lead you to the exact same area. So it's going to press the top one. Go and go into Windows. This is a fresh install. I just installed it. And um, I'm including this portion um, of video in my other tutorial on how to install Windows XP, but I'm also going to make this a separate video clip for those who don't want to walk through the whole installation of Windows XP. They just want to get this little issue fixed. Okay, so what I want to do here is go and right click on my computer. And we'll click on Start and Recovery. And we'll click on Settings here. And we're going to click on this Edit button. What this is going to do is going to pop up the boot file. So, anyways, it says to edit the startup options file manually, click Edit. Now, you have to be extremely careful right here. Because if you mess this up, <laughs> Windows will not start. So what I have to do here is um, delete the bottom list here. I'm going to full screen this so I can see a little better. But notice these are pretty much the, almost the same. Right click here. As, let's see, you have everything selected. I'm going to select it again. Right click and say delete and click on save. Now that problem is fixed. I'll go ahead and restart this to show you. Okay, now Windows XP starts like it's supposed to. Anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask.